Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Today, I want to start off this episode with a little bit of mail. Got another letter from Luigi. He has once again gotten himself captured. Toad will give us this picture. It turns out that I believe he is in the... I want to... Uh, I want to say... I want to say this is a fountain. He's in Battle Rock. I don't quite remember where that is. I could have checked, I guess, but that's not fun, right? What's a... What's a let's play without a little bit of time wasting? Huh? I've got things pretty well planned out from here to the remainder of the let's play, I think. I say that, but... Things are subject to change, as per usual, with d Mike Industries. Okay, I was right. Okay, deep breath for this one, everybody. We're heading to the Battle Rock. That's where Luigi is, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that first, because we have a purple comet blocking us in the way. The thought of... Such a purple annoyance makes me grimace. That's a McDonald's joke, if you get that. That's a deep cut. Alright, so this mission is right off the get-go. We're catching purple coins here in the Battle Rock. This mission does not pull any punches. You will have to be light on your feet to get all of these coins that it asks you to get. Some of them will seem very strange, like, why am I doing this? But they will pass you by. This is a auto-scroller, so you only have really one shot at getting the things that you're trying to get. So just, you know, be nimble, be quick. Maybe jump over a candlestick, whatever you're into. But certainly, just be mindful of the fact that this one is going to test your your skills a little bit. Your ability to get Mario electrocuted. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, Ugh, this is getting hairy already. Oh boy. Well, that's, uh, that's a reset. Gonna go ahead and get ourselves electrocuted to death. You can see Mario's skeletal system if you're interested. We will try again. The fun part about this is I was messing around as I do sometimes, you know, boot scoot goofing, and I uh, was able to do this mission my first try, which is great because that means that it's going to take me more than one try on the recording. That's the life of a Let's Player. If you are able to do stuff your first try, then you are not me and you are better than me, so pat yourself on the back for being superior to an internet stranger. That's actually the finest form of flattery, is the reminder that sometimes you are better than people on the internet. It feels so good. So, you know, take what you can get, I guess. So this mission in and of itself is kind of a butt, just because some of the coins are kind of hard to tell where they, where they reside. It's a little difficult to kind of see where their shadows are, but that's kind of like the biggest hint that I can give to help yourself to pick them up is use the shadows of the coins to guide your light as your beacon of hope or despair. That's what it is for me. So whatever it is for you, whatever this means to you, as I get shocked again, to show that life is short. Ooh, that was probably gonna be another shock. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Mario, please. I don't want to do this more than once. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, and it stopped. Oh, wow, what a blessing. My, uh, my guardian angel has been looking out for me. Whoever they are. I feel bad for my guardian angel with the things they've had to, they've had to see in my life. Ooh, shield your eyes. But hey, we did it. That wasn't too bad. It might be a little bit late in the episode, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you've been enjoying these episodes, please don't forget to comment, rate the episode, give it a good old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for up-to-the-date followings of the d -Mite channel. So you can see what I'm playing as I'm playing it. Got a special mission for you today. We're actually going to be doing a Green Star mission. This is the one that was aforementioned in Luigi's Cry for Help. This is the Battle Rock Barrage. We've already done this one. It's a little different this time around. Not quite so foreign to us. But uh, this one is a lot of fun. It has 
Star Chips, once again, my favorite mechanic in this game outside of motion controls. So that's one of the things that I appreciate Mario Galaxy is it just gets me, you know? They decided to really put in all the mechanics in a AAA Mario title that I that I just love. And, you know, it's it's impossible to show the amount of gratitude that I have in these moments as I spin in circles chaotically. That's still something that I'm not entirely sure why that happens. Because I'm not using Joy-Cons, so... Subtle flex, but, you know, it is what it is. We're doing our best. But once again, this is very similar to last time, where we ride this large disc of doom around the, the Battle Rock Barrage with the Armada shooting all of these weird beach balls at us. I feel like going to the beach would be a lot more hectic if you had to dodge a bunch of exploding beach balls. Probably not as much fun. Maybe a little more fun than getting sand in your boots, but who knows. But yeah, very similar to last time. Just follow the uh, the metallic pancake along. The trickery coming up this time around is that in before, if you guys remember, when we got to the end, we were tasked with using a bullet William to blow up some domes. That's a recurring mechanic that this game seems to really enjoy. A recurring mechanic that this game seems to think that I really enjoy. So they decided to put it in as many times as possible. There was a bit of a miscommunication. Perhaps they didn't quite get my uh, my email on time, but that's okay. You know. For for VIP status, like sometimes like things just get crossed, and you know when they're developing games, like you know it's important to kind of consult your your shareholders like me, so I get it. But, you know, sometimes mistakes happen and stuff doesn't always quite get to the place it's supposed to be. So yeah, you're gonna go ahead and wanna take your bullet, oh, just kidding. Let's go ahead and not spoil that for a second. Let's go ahead and take our bullet William again if we can lure him away. Hello, sir, hello. All right, so we're gonna take it to this uh, pancake and we're gonna go underneath, go underneath the pancake and smash into a pillar. That is not what I was hoping to do. Unintentional. That was a bit of a tutorial to show you what happens when you smash bullet bills into uh, pillars. So, avoid that. We're going to go underneath again. Oh, just kidding. That's what happens when you don't quite aggro the bullet bill all the way over. Totally understandable. Happens to the best of us, the worst of us, and those in between. So, we're going to jump over here, and we're going to not hit a pillar this time. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, great. And there is our boy Luigi. Third time's a charm. He was having a bit of a, uh, a mental health moment, going crazy. Which is funny that like Luigi here is saying, you know, tell Rosalina I found this. But I mean, like realistically speaking, like he did, he did find it. Like who else would have found it? But he's also saying that it's his. So I'm like, do you want credit for having found it? Do you want credit? For it belonging to you. I think Luigi's being a little greedy. He didn't really do any of the work there. He did get himself caught. So maybe you show a little bit more respect to Mario for bailing you out, you turd burglar. But there it is. That's 105. We're going to get one more. One more star on this episode. I've got it all planned out. But by successfully grabbing that final green star, we have unlocked the green launch star. However, we will not be going after the green launch star. As I mentioned before, the green launch star will be our finale of the three most dangerous stars in the game. They are, you know, supposed to be challenges and whatever, but okay, so we're done with the terrace. We are finished. Thankfully, we are not terrorists. We're going to go pop back into the garage. How do people say that word? Do you say garage? Do you say garage? Do you have another way of pronouncing it? Garage? Garage. You know, whatever, 
Whatever kind of floats your boat. All right. That's two, uh, that's two domes down, ladies and gentlemen. We are 40% of the way to ultimate completion. We have almost finished ourselves off. That feels pretty good. Nothing feels good than being able to finish. So we're going to actually go and we're going to grab, if you guys remember, grab the flying Mario power-up. This is actually the most that I've ever used it. I think part of it's just because I am getting lazier as I get older and I don't want to have to deal with these shenanigans of having to actually go over to the areas that I'm supposed to, running and jumping, like some sort of a peasant. Huh. I don't have time for that. But I like that as soon as you go into the dome, you are instantly removed from being able to... Oh, that looks like... Wow. That actually means that we are 60% 60, 60 of the way done. 20, 40, 60. That's good math for you. You're welcome. Stay in school, kids. Let's go ahead and check out the engine room. We are running out of stars to do. So there are 117 barring the three green stars that we will do eventually. So some of these episodes, because the stars are a little bit quicker, they will, um... Ooh, this one is a pain in the butt. Well, this one will take plenty of time. This will pad the episode out a little bit. The remaining episodes of the series will be a little bit shorter. Just to forewarn you all. The reasoning for that, though, is just because of the way that things are going to fall into place as I get ready to introduce the next series after this one, which you won't obviously see until this one's done. So we still have uh, a couple weeks left of Super Mario Galaxy for those of you who may be dreading the end of this wonderful award-winning series. I totally understand. But yeah, what's uh, what's better than going back to Seaslide or Seaside or whatever it's called, Sea whatever. What's better than going back to Sea whatever galaxy? Clearly I'm very passionate about it. And uh, getting some purple coins. This isn't, uh, you know, one of the worst places to do this. So I think we're gonna go, you know, I'm gonna go this way and then I'm gonna, I'll complete the circuit the other direction. I was originally going to go the other way and then come back, but I realized that'd be a bit of a retread. And uh, here at D-Mike Industries, we don't actually do that. Everything is incredibly intentional and done with ultimate purpose for the fans. I love these low poly textures. So hopefully everybody's doing great. I'm doing great. Hopefully everybody's having a nice summer. Summer's almost over, actually. We're kind of at the halfway point. I shouldn't say almost over. Kind of at the halfway point. So for those of you who are working, hopefully you've been able to have some time for some R&R. &R. For those of you in school, hopefully you're enjoying the break. Maybe those of you that do work, but potentially have jobs that are dependent on summertime. Hopefully you are enjoying your break and will eventually enjoy school. Oh boy, this is uh, danger. Okay, great. Oh, that was actually intentional. Now you know that uh, when you miss one of those platforms and you are B Mario, that you will uh, be plunged into the water and lose your power up. It's super fun, super cool and fun. We love it. We'll grab this again. I don't know if there's any, okay, there are coins up there that I didn't miss. I don't know if I can, oh, and there's one on the tree. So. That's one of the things that I think makes, oh boy, that I think makes this level in particular a butt. I don't necessarily enjoy, and I don't mean butt as in, uh, you know, a part of a sentence like, hey, I'd like to go to the store, but I'm not wearing any pants. Like, that's not what I mean. I'm referring to the behind, the metaphorical behind of this level not being my favorite, is it's very easy in my experiences to to miss something in similar fashion to the freeze flame galaxy where I did unfortunately make a make a goof. I missed the one coin in the beginning. I had to go back and get it. It's not a huge deal, but that doesn't make it, you know, more fun. I would say the needle kind of leans more towards uh, less fun. But once again, as I've always said in this Let's Play, I don't want to speak for anybody. 
because I guarantee that there are people in my life and potentially people that are watching this series from near, far, wherever you are, that they love this kind of stuff. Purple coins are why they live for Mario Galaxy. Maybe it's a situation where Mar purple coins are reminiscent of something important in your life. You know, maybe somebody saved your life. Maybe they pulled you from a burning building and they were wearing a, purp a, a shirt that had a purple coin on it. And from then on, you couldn't fathom life without them. And I totally get that. If that's your circumstances, as very suspiciously specific that is, you live your dreams. I don't want to tell you what you can and can't do. I am a dream enabler, if anything. I'm here to encourage you to healthily and safely follow your dreams, of course. Here on D-Bike Industries, we are built on safety, caution, self-preservation, consent, of course. It's 2021 after all, let's not uh, take that for granted. If I could get out of this view, that'd be excellent. So I believe there's a couple of purple coins down here. So that's fun. But there's a coin, there's a cloud to bring you back up. I almost said there's a coin. I get coin in the brain and I can't get over it. I do believe that this mission in particular does have, I think, I want to say it's got exact, oh, I don't know, you can hit those blocks. I believe it's got exactly 100 coins. That's kind of another reason why this makes this one a butt is getting the coins is slow. It is monotonous. It does take some time to, to kind of get to, oh, okay. That was a very strange camera angle. I didn't really appreciate that too much. I'm hoping I can get to that coin from the top of this gear, but we're going to find out. But yes, back to my, st my statement. Um, it's slow. It is kind of arduous. I don't know. I think I can make it to this one. I'm assuming this is what they intended me to do. So I get onto this toad drop ship here. You scared of heights? Then how'd you get up there, buddy? I know that's a very legitimate fear, being afraid of heights. I think that's fine. I'm afraid of bears. I feel like that's also legitimate. And if it isn't legitimate in your eyes, then you can get the heck out. I watched The Revenant once. That's a movie. And, uh... Ever since I've had the willies about bears, grizzly bears are not something I'd want to goof around with. There's actually coins back up there, so I'm going to go back over there and get them because I missed them. It's another thing that makes me a little peeved is when you miss coins that look like they're in an easy spot, but then they trick you. They're actually a little hidden. This tree is a is an ambassador for malice. I don't know if I can... Oh, this is bad. Oh boy, here we go. Whoop. Just kidding, everybody. We are safe and sound. Mm, what you say? So, got to go back on the tree. We're going to go and collect the remaining purple coins up here that we missed. I thought I got them all. But it is also kind of tough to see where you're going sometimes. This tree is a little nefarious. And being able to track all the way around. There it is. I feel like there was a couple more up on a cloud somewhere near this. What is nice, though, is that unlike the clouds, the... The tree branches are not made of condensation. Therefore, we're able to land on them and not have to float through them. All right, there we go. There's the remainder. We might be able to take these clouds up above all the way over to the the secondary planet over there. I think that that might work. If we're lucky. Create your own luck by being super good at Mario Galaxy. Or not. Your choice. I always lean towards the not good part because I typically have been blessed with that dynamic of my life. Alright. So we're going to float back around and grab the one that we missed. Hopefully there isn't a there's not a coin in that purple drop ship. That would be kind of a butt. But other than that, we're doing okay. We are going to slowly drift onto this planet. We're going to invade. I think I can kill these blue goobers. I 
can. Turn their corpses into delicious candy, as we have been doing all throughout this Let's Play. Once again, when in doubt, turn your friends' corpses into delicious candy. I guess that's kind of disingenuous to say. I don't know if I would call these weird guys friends, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I guess they're foes, because we are attacking them. But sometimes you attack your friends, and that's not fun. Don't attack your friends unless they can turn into candy, in which case, consider it. All right, so we're gonna hop onto this secondary cloud. We're almost done with getting the purple coins on this side. I actually think this might loop. I don't remember if there are purple coins over on the weird thing. Hold on. Can I look around? I don't know. No, that's not where I want to go. Oop. I don't remember if... The, no, no, this is not... This is not ideal. Okay, I would love to... All right, so there's a coin on the blue drop ship. It's making my brain hurt a little bit. I don't know if I can land on this ring to replace my... Okay, I can. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that's kind of tough is like... There's a lot of platforms on that were coded in this game that were not meant to be stood on, I think. Also, the toad wearing scuba gear, it's adorable. If you don't think that's adorable, you can get out. So, I think... Yeah, it's a little tough to figure out like what stuff is okay to land on, what stuff is not okay to land on. Like, I can't... Would have loved to have picked that up before I lost my power-up, that's great. I think I can maybe get this by jumping. But now I have to doodle my way all the way over to the surface again. Hitting wrong buttons every step of the way, as we do. As you know, that's how I do it. When in doubt, hit every button you possibly can, especially the big red one. So I think it would, yes, it would be very helpful to have a have a B power up. I th I don't know if like the the big bobber thing in the middle. This, whoop, this guy. I don't know if. I don't know if there are coins on that. I really hope there aren't because that's gonna. It's gonna grind the old gears. But we'll find out. This mission in particular also kind of peeves me because the music being played, the seaside slide, side, sea slide, sea slide, side, side, slide, is very joyous, very reminiscent of a, a, a warm day at the beach. And here we are having to ruin that by trying to collect purple coins instead. Imagine that, that would be like going to the beach with your family and saying, okay, Instead of, uh, instead of having fun at the beach with your family, how about you just spend all day, uh, picking up trash? That's scattered all over the place in very hard to reach locations. How would that sound? Do you like the idea of picking up trash? Because that's how this feels sometimes. Maybe that's what it is, though. Maybe, just maybe, this is me trying to wax poetic a little philosophy for you guys. Maybe picking up the purple coins is like picking up trash. You know, these are comets that are kind of dispersing the purple coins onto where we are. So maybe this is like actually like a toxic material that Mario is somehow immune to and able to rid each of the galaxies, the local flora and fauna of said toxic coins. Huh? That's a positive spin on it, right? It's fun. It's a good way to think about it. I like to tell myself that sometimes because it makes me feel better and sleep better at night. So, whatever helps me sleep at night, that's what matters. That's the most important part of this Let's Play. Don't you forget it. So we're gonna keep going. We're not too far from being done. Some of these coins are on areas that have the clouds that move around. Not too big of a problem for us. We're able to Take around, take around, take any obstacle. Hopefully I, uh, I'm gonna lose my power up here. I don't think I can make it back. Maybe. Ooh, that was a pro move. You're welcome. You guys saw that firsthand. Rewind if you need to. I think we have all the ones from 
side that we're trying to get. We got a level up. That's nice. Not a level up, a one up. I can't talk. We're doing great. The amount of purple coins is slowly starting to uh, melt my brain. Starting to lose my sanity. It's because they're poisonous and we are collecting a hundred of them. It's a, uh, I don't know what the parts per million is on toxicity for purple coins, but we're getting there. Clearly Nintendo has no consideration for my health. We should actually be paying for my medical treatment after ridding their their lands of such toxic filth. The the depth perception of oh boy oh that's not fun. Uh, okay, well thankfully though there is another as I swim in circles again. There is another bee suit right here. Okay. We'll have to jump on one of these clouds though because the nearest platform is that tree and we can't quite get up to the top of it. I used to remember climbing trees as a kid and how fun that was. Until one time I was climbing a tree and I don't know why I had it, but I had a rake with me. And I thought, you know what would be a good idea to do in this tree? I'm gonna swing this rake and in said tree with said rake, there was a beehive, maybe wasps, I don't know, something with wings. And they were not too happy of me doing that, so I did get attacked. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad, and thankfully, I'm also not allergic to, to bees, but I am still very afraid of them. You will find me very frequently anytime that I'm in public, and there's anything with wings. Butterflies are the exception. I think butterflies are okay. I went to a butterfly release one time and I was fine with it. But anything that buzzes and has wings is a no-go. Bees, wasps, mosquitoes, cicadas, dragonflies. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Don't you, don't you, don't you touch me. I was on the way back from a trip once and I had a cicada trapped in my car. This was recently. It was the year of the cicada. The 17-year hibernation period of the cicadas had ended here in the year 2020, year of our Lord, and uh, yeah, I um, I had a cicada trapped in my car, and I was very panicked. I had to actually stop and remove the creature from my vehicle before I could continue to continue my journey, and that is not me embellishing that fear. I legitimately was full clench. I could have pooped the diamond. That's how scared I was, so... If you know, if you want to know how to like shut down the, the system, that's how we do it. Let's go ahead and. Okay, not have enough to get up there. Hopefully, I can do it on this time. Is this just a climbable pole? Okay, just kidding. Well, we'll fly to it, maybe. All right, guys, we did it. That's the final star for today. I'm gonna be getting three most of the way. There will be a day that we don't get three. We're only gonna get two. That episode will be a little bit shorter, but this is one of those days we're gonna get three. So we saved Luigi. We uh, collected two sets of purple coins. That's going to be kind of the remainder of a lot of these. We will save. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Hopefully you guys had a good time. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here, but it's been a blast the entire way. I've been D-Mike, everybody. Thanks for watching Super Mario Galaxy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.